Tonight. I'm just ready for it to be legal everywhere. We take you inside Colorado's newest industry. I think it's prettier than most flowers out there. The business of legal marijuana, generating hundreds of millions of dollars. This is far more powerful than anything we've dealt with before. Nebraska law enforcement are having trouble keeping up with the problems generated when the drug crosses state lines. I think what Colorado's doing is uh, one of the worst social experiments a state could do. A court fight between states is looming. How are we to control Nebraska residents uh, who are breaking the law? For the next half hour, Brian Mastroy reports. Nebraska v. Colorado, the war on weed. Good evening, I'm Brian Mastery reporting from Denver, Colorado. Now many of us come here to Colorado to get what we can't get in Nebraska, the mountains. And while those views, the majestic views are unchanged, Colorado is caught in the middle of another attraction. This one man-made, marijuana sales. In fact, sales in the first year so much exceeded expectations. State lawmakers are considering giving some of that surplus back to the taxpayers. But law enforcement communities in Nebraska bordering Colorado can't keep up with all the legal marijuana coming into the state. Nebraska versus Colorado used to be a college football rivalry. Now it's a case before the U.S. Supreme Court. They're all over the country uh, debating not if, but what. You know, what are we going to do? When Colorado voters approved Amendment 64, becoming the first state to allow marijuana to be sold for recreational use and not just as medicine. Well, this is our old facility. Um, this is where we first started. Andy Williams believed a nationwide shift in culture was inevitable. So we find a plant that we like, and we like good, big, and fast. The demand forced expansion. In one year, his business as the medicine man in Denver doubled, bringing in $9 million in sales in 2014, the first full year of the state's law allowing anyone over 21 to buy it. Beyond your age, no questions asked. Do you think Coloradoans regret oh. changing the law? Not at all. Um, Colorado actually has embraced it. Um, there's a lot of data that points to less violent crime, actually lower teen use in Colorado. To me, people are being sold a bill of goods by an industry that stands to make multi-billion dollars uh, from this industry. Enter Nebraska Attorney General Doug Peterson. We tracked him in western Nebraska as he builds the state's lawsuit against Colorado, trying to shut down their pot industry. I don't want to be too uh, alarmist here, but I, I do think we're at a critical time where a whole generation of youth are at risk and adults need to step up and say um, this is a real harm. It's a real potential harm that we have to fight against. Hello, how you doing? Good. Deputy Sheriff Scottsdale County Sheriff's Office. Law enforcement in western Nebraska sees it time and again in the last year during traffic stops. We knew Colorado wasn't going to be able to keep it in Colorado. When manpower is at a premium for a small county sheriff, Having something legal only a few miles away from where it's illegal straps resources. This is far more powerful than anything we've dealt with before. Scott's Bluff County Sheriff Mark Overton says the ease and proximity of Colorado's legal marijuana is turning Nebraska young people into drug dealers at home. Investigators recently closed this case. All of the evidence, the pot, is labeled from the Colorado dispensaries where it was seemingly purchased. Experts say the black market didn't go away either. The information we get in the Attorney General's office is that this is bringing in the drug cartels from Mexico. They think they somehow sanctified the process and the cartels went away. They're actually coming in stronger. And I just recently heard today that the Russian cartels uh, are coming in to try to compete for this market. So I think Colorado is a terrible social experiment. Still ahead. Do people ask if they can take this out of state when they yeah, come to here? Some people do. What do you tell them? Marijuana retailers fire back. Users want more states to follow Colorado's lead. I think it'll be a good deal for the world. And what exactly is Nebraska law enforcement seeing on the border? People just don't seem to realize how dangerous it is. When Nebraska v. Colorado, the war on weed continues.